All right, we're going to look at some WordPress plugins now to really customize this website and add some features that we don't want to add with you know manual coding. That takes up a lot of time. And what I found is if you want to add something to your website, instead of thinking of how to do it manually, see if there's a WordPress plugin available. And you don't want to install too many plugins. I think if you have like 10, 15, or 20 plugins, that might be a little bit excessive. But I would try and find five or ten of the best plugins that do all the most important features that you need for the website. So I would say one of the most important that almost every website is going to have is a contact form. So let's add a contact form to our WordPress website here. Um, you'll see I'm in the plugins area, which is blank at the time. So I'm going to go up here. I'm just going to click add new. And they show you a couple popular plugins on this page, but you can either upload a plugin if you have a zip file, or you can go over here to the search plugin. So I'm just going to search for Contact Form 7. That is the plugin that I like using. It's been around for a long time, and as you'll see, um, there are a literally a ton of downloads. <laughs> they have 24 million downloads. I think that this. Um, contact form has been around for, or this contact form plugin has been around for, I would say, probably five, six, seven years. I, so that's pretty important, you know, that it's been around a while. And the other cool thing about this is that you can see it's last updated four weeks ago. So not only has it been around for years, but they continue to update this plugin, which shows that not only are they potentially adding features, but they're also fixing any bugs that, you know, the users have found. So that, I think those are the two most important things you want, you want to look for when adding a plugin. How many downloads it has, when it was last updated, and obviously ratings. You know, you don't want something that's one star rated regardless of how many downloads it has. Um, so let's go ahead and just install this plugin. We click the Install Now button, then OK. And once it's successfully installed, I'm just going to click the Activate button. And now that it's activated, you'll notice that we have an extra tab here on the left here called contact so that's where we add our contact forms and by default they create one contact form for you and all you have to do to insert that contact form into a wordpress page or post is copy the short code and then paste it wherever you want it so before i do that i want to edit this form so we're going to go in here and you could change the name of the form so i'm just going to call this general contact form Ooh, contactor <laughs> contact form so I'm gonna call it that we're gonna take a look in here and you'll see by default there's a couple fields provided for you they give you um, the name field an email field a subject field your message and a send button and you'll notice <clears throat> that you can also generate a tag. There's this uh, generate tag drop down over here. So, say for instance you want to create a new tag, you can pick which um, what type of content you want. Do you want an email address? Do you want a URL? A telephone number? You could do, <clears throat> you know, drop down menu. Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, check boxes, a radio button. So all the all these different um, fields will have different validation methods. So it'll check to see if it's the right format for an email address or a phone number if you choose those. So let me just pick phone number here just to show you what the process is to add this in. You can determine whether or not it's required. And what you'll see here is as you build this, this short code is going to update. So watch it. when I check this box required field, you'll notice an asterisk gets added to that short code right there. So that asterisk is what says this field is required. So you can also add in an ID or a class if you want to add that to the HTML. So that way um, you could potentially target that with CSS if you want to customize it. And you can also include a size here, max length, depending on you know how many digits are in your country's phone number. Um, and you can also add a placeholder value as the default option. So I'm just going to do 111, 222, 3333 and use this text as placeholder and again you'll see the shortcode updates so all we have to do is add, copy the shortcode and add it to this form here on the left so I'm gonna add it right under the your email and the other thing that you'll see here is they, ha they have specific HTML formatting 
so I'm going to copy this formatting and let me see I'm actually just gonna copy this entire line so I so I keep all the formatting and I'm just gonna replace the short code on here let me cut that and I'm gonna replace it right here with the short code and I'm gonna change this field to your phone and we're gonna leave this required because again it's required so that gives you an idea of how you add a new field to your form now this form gets sent to your email address so you'll notice down here it says you need to put this code in the mail fields below so in order for this information whatever the user fills out here to get sent to your email you have to add it to the message body right down here so you'll notice that um, we have right now the message body is from your name your email and you'll you'll see that those are the fields the name of the fields right up here your name your email same thing over here we have the to the from the subject we have some additional headers so what we want to do is we want to add this field down here and we are going to just create a new line here at phone number you know you can type in whatever you know um, label you want and then we're just gonna paste in the short code and that is all there is to it once you have the short code pasted in you're ready to go now we just want to make sure that the to field is sent to the right email address that your from address has the um, you know name from the person who filled out the field you can either use the subject line they typed in or you can create your own subject line if you want to do that and you can see the reply to field makes it so that if you reply to the email it'll go to again the user's email address that they typed in in the form so we're good to go here I'm just gonna save this and now that it's saved we just need to copy this short code and add it into the page where we want to put it so I'm gonna put it on the contact page that I have created originally I just had text in here with my email address but I cleared that out and all I need to do is paste in here the short code and update the page and let me go view the site and we'll take a look at the contact page check out our form as you can see there it is and let me just fill out the form really quickly I'll type in my email um, for this one since I'm testing this I don't want to use the same email address that it's being sent to so I'm just gonna type in um, my Gmail address and here I'll just type in a fake phone number and actually let me show you what happens if I try and send this button without one of the required fields filled in you'll notice it actually does validation and it says that a little message pops up that says that errors occurred and you'll also see the red text under here which says please fill in the required field so that's a pretty cool feature that they build in so I'm just gonna type in anything there subject line hello and for the message hi this is a message so let me send it now see what happens and it was successfully sent so let me go to my email and check to see if I receive this message and there it is so let me click on the message I'll show you what the message itself looks like and you'll see here's your information you have the 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 name that I typed in which is Raymond the email address I typed in the phone number the subject and the message body and you can see here that I searched my email inbox for this little tagline here this email was sent from a contact form on Ray Del Vecchio. Um, so you could actually use this if you want to filter the email that comes in. And one thing I notice is every now and then you'll get these contact forms being sent automatically to spam. I had that happen for one of my clients and they actually lost a couple of leads because of that. So we had to get that fixed immediately. So I, I, I recommend making sure that you maybe create a filter from your contact forms based on either the subject line or the tagline like this and just automatically make sure that it goes to the inbox and doesn't get sent to spam so 
that's all there is to creating a contact form. You could do this and create as many forms as you want and paste the short code for each form to whatever WordPress page you want. So that's, that's an easy way to create any number of forms or even if you want to do maybe a couple surveys, you know, you can get creative with how you want to build these.